Are you having fun, Clint? Looks like you're up. Yeah, where did you get this? Harbor Freight. Yeah? Harbor Freight, I man. I can tell. Yeah? You know, it's got a compass in the handle. It totally has a compass in the handle. Yeah. Check that out. And nothing else. I don't know, maybe it did come with something else, but... It's like the Wish.com version of the gun from... Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry about your floor. <laughs> so anyways. I am so happy that we got that on camera. It makes <laughs> everything amazing. And in like ultra HD too. Add that to the blooper reel. So much better. Everything is better now. I'm just gonna keep drinking. So um so the, <laughs> the question, which seems so incredibly appropriate right now. Oh, please tell me it's a safety question. It is absolutely a safety oh, question, God. which is what, uh, in all the people that you have met and, and experienced in your line of work, um, uh, what advice would you have for somebody who has done something so incredibly stupid on the range, range? That you kicked them off the range. That you kicked them off the range. Yes, absolutely. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out in this video that that knife was standing straight up. It was literally sticking out of the foam floor in my I, in I still, my studio. I, I, I still have nine and a half toes, so it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Um, it's actually recently, uh, the hot brass uh, bouncing off a partition on an indoor range. Um, it's kind of common for it to happen. You can look on YouTube. Uh, goes down the back of somebody's shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, brass is hot. They go, ow, 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 got in the hand. They go back, um, they shoot my partition, they almost shoot my range safety officer. Um, she's not welcome there anymore. I would, my suggestion is humble yourself, come in, apologize. Um, explain that you understand what you did was wrong, um, that it was unsafe, that it was dangerous and you deserve to be kicked off. And more than likely you will Find somebody that is willing to help you and spend 10, 15, 30 minutes, an hour, uh, just doing firearm safety. Um, you know, the unfortunate thing with an indoor range is we can't give a safety brief to everybody. That's why it's expected that you read the range rules before you get to the range or before you go on the range. Hmm. But like my typical safety brief, like when I do a, a party, a group event, a shooting experience, stuff like that, is. I'll actually, you know, sit everybody down in the room, you know, the entire group, and I say, all right, you know, here's the deal, no gun behind the line, loaded gun, stay facing down range, I pro, ear pro all the time. Uh, if you get a piece of hot brass down your shirt, put the gun down immediately. Um, and that's something that, unfortunately, people don't do because in the moment something's hot. I've had brass in the crooks of my arm, I've had it get caught in my safety glasses, um, land on top of my hat. I've been a mechanic my whole life, so, you know, for me, the heat doesn't do anything, but for somebody that's not used to it, mm -hmm. definitely will. But no, my advice is, is if you are, if you get thrown off the range for, for doing something that was unsafe because you are a new person to the range or new to your second amendment shooting sports, go talk to the person that runs the facility. Go talk to the range coordinator, range manager, talk to the owner, somebody, and explain to them, hey, listen, I know what I did was dangerous. I know it was unsafe. I completely take full responsibility for what I did. Um, I would like to continue to shoot here. What can I do? And what I would do is I would offer you a free safety class. Um, and part of that class would involve putting the damn gun down <clears throat> before you chase out a piece of hot brass. Sure. Now, there are the guys on the range that uh, they do unsafe things because they are dumb um, nah, you're not welcome back. Go find somewhere else to shoot. Um, humble yourself. We'll have a conversation. If I'm okay with you, maybe we'll go out, maybe not. But it's always at the discretion of the, the range, uh, range master, range coordinator. So that's my advice. Be humble, admit fault, ask if there's anything you can do. Awesome. Thank you, Clint. Yes, and I still have nine and a half toes. Awesome. <laughs> I can't believe it, but...